Hey there guys, and welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis, and this is episode 179 of my SnowRunner Let's Play. As you probably, hopefully have seen, we got into a little bit of trouble in the end of the last episode. So, what I'm going to try and do is bring out a suitable vehicle that could maybe pull that back to shore. That current is so strong, I don't know if we will manage it. So let's let's go back to the garage. It's not far away, luckily. Now, see, that's quite a strong vehicle. That could be a possibility. A strong possibility, as could the Zix. Who's got the most power to weight ratio? S or a plus, so probably the Azov. Interesting. Because what else have we got that's really strong? We need... Well, we don't need... Sight. Actually, that's a strong, low centre of gravity vehicle, but... His air intake is very low at the back, so if I get pulled into the water at all, I could be in a whole heap of trouble. What else have we got? Anything? Nothing that's jumping out. I mean, there's things like that, but I don't think he's got enough. Uh, it's not all-wheel drive, so he's not got enough traction to maybe pull the, the Paystar back onto its wheels in the water. Then we've also got things like that, but that's also got no all-wheel drive. And the other two, nope. Right, well, let's try the Azov. Failing that, then I'll maybe bring out something else. I don't know. This is suspension. Better. Flight rise. Okay, well, you've seen this guy plenty of times, so I will see you over at the Paystar. Ready for immediate recovery. Because I have faith. Not really. Okay, see you in a bit. Welcome back, guys. Okay, we're here, and I turned it around because I think going forwards would give us the benefit. Get low ratio. Let's get this thing connected. What should we do? Go for the back? Yeah, let's go for the back. Let's start pulling. Is he going to have the strength? It's not looking good. Come on, pull him. That current is crazy. Whoop, don't pull me into the water. Okay, let's try repositioning slightly better. Okay, here. Now, there's no point in pulling him onto his wheels because he'll just go pushed over again. We need to get the back end out of the water. Trying to move. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, he's up. I don't mind pulling him over onto his side on this side. Okay, excellent. Now, I reckon we can get him on his wheels a lot easier now. The question is how? Maybe pull him back down towards the water or pull him further up? Let's try and pull him up a little bit further. Okay, 
Good old Azov, that's power for you. Low ratio. Maybe there they are. Yeah, I reckon he'll probably drop back onto his wheels a lot easier now. But we need to get to the other side now. We've still got to fish out those two oil barrels. It's not going to be so easy. I've got to drive against things. Not got much room here, not much room at all to play with. Just a little bit more. I'm running out of space again. Okay, let's try and go a little further. Well, I don't want to go too far into the water in case this thing gets stuck, but I don't really think we can get this thing onto its wheels without. Too much more stress. Maybe. Come on, why can't you go up there? Come on. I reckon he'll probably start at that angle. Top engine, change spot. Okay, so stop engine. His engine's already running. When do we start it? Okay, that's interesting. Next task. Okay. Maybe if we go crane mode. Don't fall. I think he stalled. Oh, he's damaging. Ah. He's almost over, and he's still running. Bend down. There we go. Andy having a crane, I tell ya. Right, can we fish these guys out? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Awesome. That'll probably pack okay there, I think. Go fishing for the next one. There he is. Okay. 
Okay, and he's in. Let's detach that. Let's see about getting him packed now. Will it work? Oh yeah, and restore the crane. We're not out of the water, pardon the pun. We still have to get this guy out of here. All wheel drive, biff lock on. He's definitely wanting to get pulled into the water. We need to go out the way with him. Turn on engine of the truck. Don't push me into the water. Reverse. No, that's not going to work. I wanted the Azov to reverse while pulling me out, so I think we need to change truck and try it. Maybe we'll try from the cab side this thing. Oh no, I can't get a winch point. Not helpful having the side of a hill trying to push you every which way but the direction you want to go. I don't think this will reach. But it will reach. Easy. Lovely. Okay, reverse. Okay, that's what I'm after. Get the camera in the right place. Come on, heave! It looked like the front right wheel was caught in something, but he's on the move now. His engine is on, but yeah, it's saying I don't think in your winch he's not putting all wheel drive in. It's only the real wheels. They're definitely spinning. Mighty close. Let's detach them and go a bit further. I was hoping to get this mission finished, guys. Sorry. It's a complete rescue mission. Is he, am I getting enough grip? I think so. But I'm even leaning back in the chair to try and give it momentum. Come on. Okay. Time check. Right, let's try something down. Let's now that he's kind of out of the water, let's turn this guy around and he'll try and pull us out, maybe. I need to turn around. That's the easiest way to do that. Up that way. Let's try again. It's close. It is mighty close. Nope. Okay. Pin struck.
taxi, all wheel drive, dead easy. The daddies were not out yet, but we're close. And we are out. And the crowd go wild. Okay, let's change truck again. Let's get this guy out of the way. Thank you very much, Azov. You did a fabulous job. Stop engine, change truck. Yeah. Now, let's top up with fuel while we're here. And we've got the wee fuel guy. The Lactian. Refuel. Oh, I need to change into my... I wish it would let you take it straight from the tank. Action. Refuel. Okay, and back to the Paystar. So, okay, now we're kind of like back to where we were before we made a complete hash of it, or I did, not you. What do we do? Do we go back all the way around and come down here without crossing this water here? I know we got across there and it wasn't too bad. So maybe we'll do that. So we'll head up and down. I don't know if there's an access point there. But that's where the other oil barrel was and we got across no problem. I say no problem. But I have no, worry. no idea where else you could cross there. Unless there's a crossing here, and you go up past the log station and round, because that looks feasible too. And there was a little pathway off there. I remember seeing it when I came up the back road. So maybe, maybe that's what we'll do. Let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that, and that. And we will come down to there and cross. Somewhere new, we haven't been that way, so... How do we get out of here now? Let's go back that way. And full speed. We wasted a whole episode almost just to get this guy out of here. And if you haven't followed from the early days, I set restrictions on myself where I can't recover the vehicle back to the garage. I have to rescue it properly. Because you might just be thinking, eh, there's a button, you can just recover it. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I can't. The trick is to not get it in such a bad situation that you have to do it that way. Half the fun of this game is the rescuing. I undoubtedly will crash before I get these delivered, but I'm going to hopefully not. I'm just pleased to have got that guy out of the water, because I thought that current was so strong that we're going to have to come up with some weird and wacky plan of pulling him downstream. This is a sneaky task, this. It's not as easy as it looks. Tactically played, placed uh, oil barrels. Okay, there must be a... Where's this road? Have I passed it already? I don't think so. Is this it? Nope. Where's this road off to the right? Maybe I have passed it. Let's just keep going a little bit further. 
If you suddenly see an edit, it's because I've gone too far. I'm just cutting out some of the boring driving. Ah, uh, maybe... Is it? I don't think it is. Where are we? Oh yeah, it can be. Because I saw the road when I came up through the... There. We're I'm miles past it. Where are you, little road? This is about that we come out of there. But it's somewhere off to the left. Oops! I didn't realise we were that close to the telegraph pole. You get you can get through the trees there. So maybe Maybe that would do. Got a funny feeling it's here, but we'll try for there. I knew there was a road down. I did miss it. So, is this a viable crossing point then? Is that what it's showing us? Because it looks like it's trying to hint at that. Where's the way out? Looks like it's just over there. So let's go down a bit and straight across. Right, don't tip over. Okay. I think that's where they wanted you to cross. We're not even after any logs. How did those oil barrels get where they got? Right, so can we reverse in through those trees? I think we probably can. Through there, no problem. What am I hitting now? I'm definitely up against something that I can't see. Right, okay, let's just try the wind through there or the anchor and the crane. Oh, 
don't have the strength to lift it there. That's close enough for me. All packed. Lovely. Let's get out of here. get back across the water and we'll check for the destination we need to set some waypoints down tip over that's a much safer crossing spot there I wonder if they adjust the physics to reduce the strength of the current just for that crossing point it would seem so stuck on oh this looks interesting Whoop. right let's have a look at the map we're running out of time I need to get into the road off to that point there That'll do. Okay. Sorry guys, it's been slightly longer than I again anticipated, but when you're recovering or rescuing a truck in water, you just have no idea how long it's going to take. And I definitely want to get it finished today. So that's the wee junction I missed, right in the middle of that water. Right, okay. Let's go around the edge of that, I think. this little bit either. Whoa, let's get a winch point attached. Four liters. Oh, am I might like that's again hold fire engine off, save that fuel. We've got to get 54 liters worth 
to get to there. I think it'd be wise to bring the Actian up, refuel, before we go any further. Yeah. This guy's got the fuel. I will, I'll do an edit here, guys, and I'll bring you back once I've got this to the, the paste star ready to refuel. Or once it's refueled. So, I'll see you in a sec. In fact, I tell you what, I also... Um, I was going to reset the time of day, but... Yeah, 8 o'clock at night. Yeah, it's dark. So hopefully when I bring you back, it'll be back to decent morning light. So, see you in a sec. Okay, I'm there. This wee guy's a beast when it comes to that. He's down to 11 litres, so I'll need to do something with him to refuel. It's mad to think that I filled the pay star up to, to go and get that last uh, fuel, uh, oil barrel. Let's just fill up. Oh, we've got a roof rack as well. That's cool. Let's fill up this guy a little bit. Need to get him out of the way now. Ready for going back to the garage. That'll do. Started. There you go. Okay. I've only got to go to the other side of that house, but it just seems that 50... 52 litres, was it? Isn't going to be enough. Oh, wasn't going to be enough. I was expecting that tree to bounce us back and then probably into space. Where are we going? We have not got far to go. Where's the drop-off point? Oh, the drop-off point's up on that little concrete pedestal thing. Oh, how spooky is that, guys? Nine red balloons. Yeah, let's quickly move on. Oh, can I do it this way? No cargo in the zone. I have to. Train them off. Oh, run again. I've got to unpack them. Unpack. Well, let's just take the middle ones first. can stack them and I'll accept them. And last but not least. Beautifully stacked. 
uh, uh, right. Cargo management. One, two, three. Yes. We have success. Got it. I've just cleared that. Oh, we got a chance to read it. We need to pause it. And we used. Yeah, there's 50 liters just over. So I would have been stuck here either way. So. Oh, had a lovely day. Right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that recovery and the. What was it? Task him. Um, big mistakes or something. Can't quite remember. But if you enjoyed it, we thumbs up. Always good. Leave a comment. Got a few things to choose from next task. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already, guys. That always helps and it is uh, much, much appreciated. So, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.